trails are a great way to get outside. We're just three miles away from the Strip and downtown, and you will feel like you're 150 miles away when you're at the Springs Preserve. And 150 years back in time. The trails were designed to immerse visitors into the wilderness that existed long before any human encroachment in the area. Rolling terrain, natural wetlands, and centuries-old cottonwood trees effectively block out noise and visual intrusions, making this a surprisingly natural space. It was one of the first portions of the Springs Preserve that was developed. So they came over here and they wanted to make it look like it would have looked if there had never been any development in the city of Las Vegas. So you kind of get like a baseline idea of what the Las Vegas Valley looked like before we started building here. Serving as a main arterial, the Exploration Loop Trail is actually a roadway that many of the other trails branch off from, and it offers many modes of travel. The Exploration Loop Trail is about 2.2 miles long. Um, it's all paved, so it's really accessible for everyone. There are lots of ways to get around the Exploration Loop Trail. Uh, you can bike, which is a really, really fun way to, uh, to see the trail system at the Springs Preserve. Lots of ramadas and places to stop where you can learn about some of these archaeologically significant areas. You can also take the train which is really an amazing uh, sort of journey back in time. And then of course you can walk or run. Um, it's like I said, it's paved, so it's ADA accessible. So it's, um, it's a great trail for everyone. If you'd like to try out the trails before committing to a longer, more challenging experience, the Crossroads Trail is perfect for that. It's the closest trail to the museums and other attractions and rises above all the others, providing an incomparable view of the entire preserve complex as well as the valley beyond. For me personally, the best one to sort of start off on if you haven't ever been out on the trail system, the Crossroads Trail is really a great place to start out because it takes you up to the original spring mound where uh, water first flowed up through the earth and was sort of the heart of Las Vegas. But the really cool thing about the spring mound is that it's a raised area of land. So while you're up there, you can see 360 degrees all the way around. So you can see the whole valley. So it'll give you a really good idea too of what the trail system looks like. Steeped in history, the Springs Trail winds a path alongside some of the earliest man-made structures still remaining in the region. At the western end of this trail is the newly added Desert Tortoise Habitat, the new home of Mojave Max. Given the right season and time of day, it won't be unusual to find yourself strolling alongside one or more of these venerable desert dwellers. Another trail in the system is called the Springs Trail. It's about a half a mile long. There's some really interesting things to see along the Springs Trail. It'll take you past the Desert Tortoise Habitat, which is home of Mojave Max, a caretaker's house, um, a pit house, and some really interesting archaeological dig sites here at the Springs Preserve. If you need an escape from the hustle and bustle of the city, hiking the Cienega Trail provides a wild immersive experience. Coursing through a wetlands area teeming with wildlife, this trail often rewards visitors with sightings of foxes, coyotes, antelope ground squirrels, and dozens of species of birds. It is really a beautiful trail that um, actually meanders down along a recreated desert wetlands area. And there is lots of wildlife. We have over 149 uh, species of birds that have come back and rehomed at the Springs Preserve. So there's lots to see. We actually even have a bird walk every month. So the Audubon Society comes out here and it's a great way, if you're not familiar with the trails, to get out and, and take a look on a guided tour. So enjoying the trails doesn't have to be a solitary venture. Bringing friends, work associates, or family along makes for a great experience. So much so, we've added programs to encourage groups to enjoy the social, environmental, and health benefits of exploring our trails together. We do have some programming uh, every month. We do something called Walk with the Doc, where we have physicians from uh, UMC come out and lead a walk. It's usually the third Thursday of every month, but check our website. So if you want to come out and experience the trails, there is some programming that if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about coming out here on your own, there are some, some walks that happen out here that you can take and, and help you to acclimate yourself to the trails. 
If only for an hour or an entire day, these trails will provide an easily accessible, surprisingly natural experience. I love the trails at the Springs Preserve. It's an amazing opportunity to just get away for a little while and to feel like you're so far away from the center of the hubbub of Las Vegas.